Hey YouTube, it's Andy Frank here. Today, this episode of Hobby Talk Tuesday is like an all-star game special since the all-star game is going on today. And I wanted to talk about um, probably the hottest player in baseball right now, and that's Shohei Otani. Um, shows some, some cool cards that I've collected of Otani um, over the past couple of years. Um, and some cards I'm planning on sending in to get grading once grade uh, once PSA opens things back up at a good price. And uh, I'm just going to show if you're looking to buy Otani cards, here's some of the different cards that have come out, and um, and see if you like how they look and stuff. So um, let's get started. Um, so if you want to watch some um, some Otani's getting opened up on my channel. Be sure and check out, um, in 2018, I did a Search for Otani series. I don't know if uh, um, you guys have seen some of those or not, but that year I pretty much opened every single box of Topps product that came out that year, a hobby box looking for Otanis. And um, thankfully, he is um, he is finally showing the promise that, that, uh, um, that he seemed like he was going to be a great all-time player. And he's really showing that right now, <clears throat> doing it from the mound and and hitting. He's the modern day Babe Ruth. So here's some Otani's. I'm gonna, these are these first ones are just some cheaper Otani's. Maybe you could find these in like bargain bins and stuff. This is a 2020 Bowman paper. This one's pretty cool. It's um from Bowman. I believe that is that is going to be 2019 Bowman just a cool refractor card of Otani and another thing about Otani's is um, he he got hot at an interesting time in the hobby where a lot of people have stopped sending in cards to get graded because of course PSA is shut down but also um, once they open up again, it's going to be pretty expensive to send in Otani cards to get graded. So, um, his pop reports are way lower than some of the other great players um, from 2018, like Acuna and um, Juan Soto, and, and um, even like 2019 players like Tatis. Otani cards really are pretty low pop, and um, they're always going to be lower pop than those other guys because it's so much more expensive to get cards graded nowadays. And, I mean, it's anticipated that it's going to be, you know, some say that it's going to cost $50 a card to get cards graded. I don't buy into that totally, but it's definitely not going to be $10 per card, which a lot of Otani's um, got graded before the shutdowns and stuff. And he wasn't as hot as he is right now, so... You know, not as many of his cards got sent in. Another um, point about Otani cards is if you're looking for, like, rookies and stuff, look for cards in which he's batting. Those seem to be uh, more valuable than the ones where he's pitching. Just a little pointer. This is actually 2021 Tops, the uh, 1952 Tops throwback um, version here. I just really like how that card looks. Uh, I always love the 84 Tops, um, Tops um, Chrome style. Um, these are from 2019 Tops, I believe. That's another one he's batting, and just that awesome 84 Tops design. Um, this is one I pulled on the channel um, from this year's Tops Chrome, or last year's Tops, Tops Chrome, sorry, a refractor, and it's a Nutani batting, and this is actually... I thought it was a short print, but I think it's just a refractor. Not a short print, but pretty cool to have a refractor. Now here's one where um, Otani is pitching, but it is one of these, um, this is a parallel. It's a uh, GQ logo version of this. And I wanted to get this one graded just because it's gonna be lower pop than his regular cards. Um, here's one. I love this card. Um, it's a classic looking card. Um, 86 Tops is pretty special to me and my brothers because that's that year um, we spent that summer building sets of 86 Tops. So we'll always remember that summer how much fun we had building sets. 
So this is based off the 86 Tops style. Really cool Otani card. This is one of those silver pack cards. And I'm going to get graded just because I love the look of that card. Pretty cool. And I love it. It has all his, his uh, stats throughout his career there. This is a lower end rookie card. It's got the rookie card symbol. This is from um, 2018 Chronicles. Um, one of the, the studio Otani rookie. Just a nice looking, sharp looking card there. Here's another um, lower end Otani rookie. This is a raid rookie from Optic. Pretty cool. Of course, it, it's him pitching, so it's not going to be worth as much. Um, and plus, it's not, the Panini stuff doesn't have logos. Um, this one's pretty neat. Uh, this is Diamond Kings. I like the look of these cards. Uh, it's a rookie card. Um, here's his pitching one, and here is him hitting. So I wanted to get one of each of those graded. Um, pretty cool cards. That's what they look like on the back. Um, this one's a cool card. Um, just simply, I'm surprised Tops didn't do something like this. I mean, since he's been compared to Babe Ruth, and this was his rookie year this came out. Um, past and present with Babe Ruth and Shohei Otani. I got a couple of those. I want to send those off to get get graded. Really cool card. Um, now we're starting to get into more of the tops type rookies. Here's a Tops Heritage Deckle Edge. Anything like this is going to be tough to get as a PSA 10, and it um, there's not going to be very many PSA 10s. Plus, uh, there just wasn't many. It's an insert card, so the pop report's naturally going to be pretty low. It's got a nice rookie card symbol in there. And he's in a hitting stance. Um, here is, I always love the look of these rookie performers. Um, Tops Heritage cards, and that's a rookie card symbol in there. Again, it's going to be lower end, a little more affordable. Um, then you have Bowman's Best. Um, Bowman's Best has been getting more popular as far as um, rookies and stuff. And this is uh, just an insert. The inserts are going to be less than the regular ones. And here's the uh, best performers. And it's got rookie card symbol there. And he is hitting. Here's Otani. Um, Alan Ginter. Alan Ginter cards are always um, more affordable. And I think they look amazing. And especially if you're like getting in-person autographs. What a perfect card to get signed. And here's the mini. I'm going to send that off. And it's a g back as well, so it's a little bit rare. Pretty cool card there. And this was from the Hot Box. It's like a glossy with that gray background. Pretty cool. I'm going to send that in. I'm going to send all these in, by the way. And so I just don't keep saying it over and over. Um, this is a nice one. This is Heritage High Numbers. Um, rookie card. Very nice looking card. He's holding the bat. Very cool. This is a great set. Um, this one's neat because, yeah, it's a bone paper, you know, more common, but it, I mean, it is a rookie card and it, he is pitching, but it's actually a lot rarer because it's the holiday one. Like they did, they, they had, um, I call them like Black Friday packs and stuff. So that the holiday 2018 set had a Otani rookie in it. And of course this is going to be way less, um, pop report than a way lower pop report than the regular one <clears throat> and again here's this is a great card his Bowman best rookie he's batting that's a plus got a nice rookie card symbol on there nice looking card um, also I would go for the refractor though um, if I was going to pick between the two I think the refractors are going to be worth way more than the base cards and here is Topps flagship Otani. Um, I think there's some of him hitting. I'm not 100% sure, but this one he is pitching. It's from Series 2. And here is the Chrome. Of course, if, you, if you're going to pick between these two, I would go for the Chrome. It's interesting the rookie card symbols on different sides in those pictures there. Card number 150 in Topps Chrome. It's a nice looking card. Um, here's another um, Otani rookie where he's pitching with the red uniform. That one is from Update. So, I mean, if I was picking between these two, I would go with this one. Um, here is 
is now this is interesting because most of the time the rookie debut cards are war, uh, usually sell for way less than the the regular chrome rookies but since he's batting so this is the thing about people want cards of otani batting rather than pitching so the cards of him batting actually are worth a good amount i have a couple of those i wanted to send off now this card I don't know what it is about Bowman, but Bowman has been getting super hot with rookie cards. And this card itself, if I think this could easily get a 10. I think it's a, I looked it over very closely, um, very sharp. Um, I'm definitely going to be sending it in soon, hopefully. Um, this card, if it grades a 10, that's like a $1,000 card, unbelievably. So Bowman rookies, Bowman Chrome rookies, I should say, are... Uh, are holding very are getting very popular so that that's a great rookie card because he is it's also he's batting and I think the main reason they're very popular is because the pop ports are so much lower on Bowman Chromes than they are like Topps Chrome now these are the two biggest um, Otani cards that I've got to show here this one is awesome um, I picked this up um, I think it was over a year ago but I've always been a big fan of Otani, so I keep an eye out for Otani's. This showed up at the local hobby shop, and I made an offer on it, and um, they took it, and it was a, I, th I can't remember exactly how much, but it was a steal compared to what this card would probably go for now. This is from Luminaries. Um, it's out of five, three out of five, on-card auto. He's batting. It's got everything. It's a phenomenal card. Uh, I can't wait to send this in to get it graded. Um, I think it could get a 10. But, I mean, a, a card where they only made five of, it's going to be pop one pretty much no matter what I, what um, it gets ends up getting. And then, finally, this is my best Otani card. This is a 2018 Panini Flawless. Yes, it's not tops, but it is Flawless. Flawless is a great product. Even in baseball. This is a rookie patch auto. It's a dual rookie patch auto. So you got two patches there. That one, that bottom one there is a four color patch. This one's three color. Um, just a phenomenal card. On card auto. His auto does bleed into that silvery color stuff right there. And it is a thick card. So... I mean, it's always tough to uh, grade thicker cards. I did not get this grade. I bought it. Um, Leaf had this uh, really cool um, product a couple years ago called um, Best of Sport. And you would get a card inside and like a, one of their Best of Sport. Um, that One of the Best of, of Sport cards that were inside there. Um and this is the card, one on one box that I got. I got a phenomenal rookie patch, dual rookie patch auto Otani. Great card. It's numbered 22 out of 25. I really want to get this sent in to grade with PSA because I just I have cards in my collection are with PSA. And I think it would look great in that PSA slab. And plus it got an 8.5. Um, not a great grade, really. It's a silver label, so um, who knows? I might get a, get a PSA 8 if I send it in to PSA, but I do want it in the PSA holder. And um, this is definitely my nicest Otani. Um, these are easily four figures, so this card is definitely going up and up, and it's my best Otani. I wanted to show it here on this video. And so hopefully, hopefully you guys, if you're in the market for uh, Otani rookies and stuff, uh, hopefully maybe you learn um, a couple things to look for definitely if you're going to invest in one I would I would definitely look for one that he's batting in instead of pitching um, and you know some I think the, the best buy the, the card that has the probably the best upside for the value is probably this card because number one it's a refractor a lot tougher to get the refractors it's a rookie card Bowman's best rookies are gaining in respect in the hobby um it's a nice looking card 
Um, and plus he's in a batting stance. So out of all those cards, for the price, I think this you get more bang for the buck out of a refractor bonus best out of all those cards. And, you know, if you want to spend up, this is a nice rookie to get to. The uh, Bowman Chrome Otani where he's batting. <coughs> um, I don't know. Uh, I might wait and see if the hype of Bowman Chrome rookies goes down, but I think his hype is not going to go down um, unless he hits a, a slump or gets injured. But this is a good rookie card to get to. Um, his top's chrome. Um, the only thing that would hold this back is that he's in a pitching stance. I mean, that's why this card is worth as much as it is because it, although it's a rookie debut, he is batting. So anyway, just some things to look at there. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy the All-Star Game. Hopefully teams, players from your team do good. I actually got three of my favorite teams players, the Texas Rangers playing. Got Joey Gallo. Um, we got um, Adolis Garcia and KG pitching. So we got a uh, nice selection of Rangers. Even though they suck, they do have three all-stars. So I can't wait to see the, how they do. All right, stay tuned for more videos. Uh, leave comments. We'll talk about it on Friday follow-up later.